So let's get comfortable in whatever way it feels best to you. So maybe even placing a blanket underneath the sits bones so that we can tilt the pelvis forward. That helps to align the spine and it makes it a little more comfortable to sit in meditation. And so whenever you're ready, maybe closing the eyes or choosing a spot on the floor to gaze at, softening the gaze, breathing in, feel your belly expand. Breathing out, belly button sinks towards the spine. Breathing in, belly expands. Breathing out, belly button sinks. Breathing in and out with the rhythm of your own body. Inviting yourself into quiet, into stillness. Knowing that you are welcome here exactly as you are. We show up on our mats with all of our beauty and brilliance, with our mistakes and our failings, with our joy and our grief. However we come to our mat, we are welcome here, welcoming ourselves into our bodies, settling, sinking down into your body, feeling all the places where your body touches the floor. Reminding yourself of your belonging within you. On your next exhale, let's gently bring the chin to the chest. Opening up the back of the neck and feeling the, the stretch in the tops of the shoulders. And then making some circles with the head and neck, going slowly and gently. Noticing any sensations or sounds. Pausing and let's go in the other direction. And coming back to stillness. So let's place our hands on our knees. We're just gonna do some circles from the waist. So we keep the sits bones on the floor. We're just gonna take some little circles here. Working with that sacral second chakra. A space in the body that holds both creativity and grief. Pausing and going in the other direction. coming back to stillness. Let's bring the soles of our feet together out in front of us and give yourself a little foot massage. Notice what it feels like to massage your feet.
Maybe massaging your ankles, your lower legs. Let's scoot back a little bit from your feet and making this stance as wide um, as you'd like it to be. And we're gonna inhale, lifting the arms up, reaching and lengthening the spine. And exhaling, we're gonna fold forward. You might want to take a pillow and place it on your lap so that you can rest onto the pillow. You might want two pillows, whatever feels best to your body. We're gonna settle into this forward fold for a few moments. Breathing in and breathing out. As you breathe out, see if you can allow your body to sink a little heavier into the pillow towards the floor. And gently bring your awareness to the tailbone, the sacrum. Breathing in and out. And see if you can allow the muscles surrounding the sacrum to relax and release just a little bit. Connecting with the root, the root chakra, base of your spine. Reminding your body, your mind, I am welcome here. My body belongs to me and it is my home. Breathing in, breathing out. Feeling your belly expand as you breathe in. You're feeling your body settle a little heavier towards the earth with gravity as you breathe out. Taking a few more moments here, a few more breaths. Whenever you're ready, let's come back to seated. And whenever you're ready, we'll meet in table pose. And so, our hands are on the mat wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. And we're going to arch the back, bring the chin into the chest, and then we'll drop the belly and lift the gaze. So we're gonna go through these cat-cow postures, moving at your own pace, breathing as you move. We inhale into cow, exhale into cat. Moving with your breath.
Take this movement three more times. And then come back to stillness, meeting in table with a flat back. And we're gonna curve the spine and look out over the right shoulder. So creating a little bit of a C with the body. Breathing. Releasing that, coming back to center, and then going in the opposite direction, curving the spine, looking out over the left shoulder. Breathing. And releasing. So we're going to come into an extended child's pose. And if you'd like to practice this um, as a restorative, very cozy pose, uh, maybe grab a pillow or two. So I'll show you that. But first, if you want to come into um, a traditional um, extended child's pose, what we do is bring our arms up, lengthen the spine, and then slide the hands down on the mat, bringing the forehead to the mat. The knees are wide apart and our sacrum settles down between the feet. For the restorative version of the pose, we get a pillow or two, put it out in front of us. You can take a blanket and put it over your ankles. And so you're creating a little bit of a cushion for your butt. And then we inhale the arms up, reaching and lengthening the spine. Exhaling, we fold over the pillow, laying down onto the pillow. You could stack up two pillows if that feels better to you. And so we're laying here with the face against the pillow. Noticing what sensations you feel in your body. Allowing yourself to settle a little deeper into this pose. Maybe you notice an opening in the sacral area, the pelvic area of the body. Being gentle with yourself as thoughts and feelings arise. Maybe you notice sensation at the tailbone area of the body, remembering your groundedness, your rootedness, that this is your body, it belongs to you, and you are welcome in your body, on your mat. If challenging sensations come up for you, Know that it is okay. Sometimes we have scary or hard or sad thoughts. We let them be what they are. They flow in and they flow out. Not all of our thoughts are true. We do not have to believe them. And we can teach our mind how to speak to us in ways that are kind and respectful. And so if your mind starts to be unkind or go in a direction that just is not helpful to you, gently remind yourself, I will speak to myself in ways that are kind, that are loving, I can reflect on the aspects of myself or my life that I want to shift and change, but I will do that with compassion and love. 
knowing that I have a right to be here, to receive love and belonging exactly as I am right here in this moment. Breathing in, breathing out, and gently turning your face to face the opposite direction and settling into the quiet for a little while. Letting the sound of your voice guide you through the quiet. The sound of your breath guides you through the quiet. Three more deep breaths here. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to stretch out long, laying the body flat against the mat, belly down. So, the forehead can come onto the hands like this. Placing the belly, the legs down on the feet. Bending the knees. And then we're going to windshield wiper the legs back and forth. Whenever you're ready, releasing that and stretching out long on your mat. And then let's flip over onto our backs. So let's place the right ankle on the left knee. And then we're gonna bring that knee ankle combination in towards the chest, the figure four. Feeling the stretch down the back of the right glute. Breathing. Notice where you're holding tension and tightness and see if you can get those muscles to relax just a little bit. Let's place that left foot back on the floor and hook the right knee over the left. 
We're gonna draw some little invisible circles in the air with our right toes. Pausing and going in the other direction. Then let's bring that right leg up into the air, holding on, on the, behind the right leg, stretching, maybe flexing and then releasing the toes, the feet. Again, let's bring that right knee in towards the right armpit. And we're gonna take hold of the bottom of the right foot, coming into half happy baby. You can take some movement here if that feels good to you, rocking a little bit. Again, connecting with the root and sacral chakras. Let's bring that leg up into the air one more time and then hug that right knee in towards the chest. Now we're gonna place the right foot on the floor, the left foot, the left ankle on the right knee. And then let's bring that knee ankle combination in towards the chest. Breathing. Each exhale, see if you can sink a little heavier into this pose. Breathing. Then let's place that right foot back on the floor, hook the left knee over the right, and let's draw those invisible circles again in the air with the left toes. Pausing and going in the other direction. Bringing that left leg up into the air, taking hold behind the left leg, stretching, maybe flexing and releasing your toes and feet. Then bringing that left knee down towards the armpit and taking hold the bottom of the foot in half happy baby. Maybe taking some movement here if that feels good to you. Bring that left leg back up into the air. Stretching it out and then hugging it in. And let's release the whole body onto the mat, stretching the arms long, lengthening the whole body. Now, let's 
let's do legs up the wall. So get comfortable in whatever way feels good to you. Maybe bringing a pillow over so you can lay down onto the pillow. You could use a another pillow or a blanket or a block and put that underneath your sacrum if that feels good to you to kind of lift the pelvis up into the air a little bit. But what we're gonna do is slide close to the wall and then bring the legs up the wall like this. And so if you want more of a stretch, you get closer to the wall. If you want it to be a little more relaxing, just get further away from the wall. The arms are down long by the sides. Maybe placing the palms of your hands against the floor. Really grounding your hands into the floor, feeling maybe the cold of the floor or the warmth. Maybe your hands are touching wood or carpet or your mat. Noticing what you feel with your fingertips, with the palms of your hands. And then gently bringing your awareness into the root chakra again, feeling the base of your spine against the floor and noticing your belly rising and falling as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. Staying here for a few moments, sinking and settling into your body, allowing yourself to relax into the floor. Breathing. If your mind starts to wander away, just gently bring it back to the breath, feeling your body against the floor, feeling your hands against the floor, noticing the sensations in the backs of the legs and the feet. Five more deep breaths here. And whenever you're ready, swing your legs down to the floor. And we're gonna come into Shavasana. So maybe grab a pillow and you could place that under your knees if that feels good to you. Maybe grabbing a blanket, putting that over you. And so in Shavasana, 
our feet are wide apart, our arms are down by our sides, and the palms are facing up. But you can change this pose so that it makes sense for you, so that it feels good and safe to you. Maybe it feels better to lay on your belly, or maybe it feels better to sit up and do a seated meditation during this time. Just check in with yourself and ask yourself what would feel best to me in my body right now. And then take a few moments to get situated and get settled. Gently bring your awareness to the back of the body feeling both the lightness and the heaviness in the back of the body. Noticing the sensation of lightness and heaviness on the front of the body. Becoming aware of all of the places where the body meets the floor. Noticing what it feels like to be held by the floor in this moment. Breathing in, feel your belly expand. And breathing out, feel your belly button sinking towards the spine. Breathing in, belly expands. And breathing out, belly button sinks. Breathing at your own rhythm, your own pace. Allowing your eyes to soften, your tongue to soften, your jaws to unclench. Feeling your shoulders sinking towards the earth with gravity. Noticing your belly rising and falling as you breathe in and breathe out feeling your arms heavy and relaxed, your hands heavy and relaxed, feeling your pelvic area softening and sinking towards the earth, feeling your legs heavy and at rest, ankles, feet, toes at rest, breathing in and breathing out. Settling into a time of quiet. Again, letting your breath be your guide through the quiet. poem from Mary Oliver called Wild Geese. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about your despair yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes. Over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, 
no matter how lonely. The world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. Gently bringing your awareness to the tips of your toes and noticing your energy in the tips of your toes, the bottoms of your feet, noticing your energy and your strength moving up from your feet into your ankles, into your legs, the backs of the knees, the pelvis, your belly rising and falling with your breath, feeling the energy in the tips of your fingers, the palms of your hands, your arms, feeling the strength, the solidness at the base of your spine, feeling your strength and your energy moving up through the base of your spine, up through your back, all the way up to your shoulders, your throat, your mouth, feeling the energy, the vitality in your eyes, the crown of your head, breathing in and breathing out. This is my body. It is my home. I am welcome here. Very gently, whenever you're ready, rolling to one side, curling up into a little ball. And acknowledging what you've practiced today, honoring yourself, your mind, your body, for coming to your mat, for engaging in this practice. And maybe noticing too, anything that you'd like to leave behind. Breathing in and out, let go of those things that are no longer helping you. Three deep breaths. Noticing also, acknowledging what it is you'd like to take with you from your practice into your everyday life. Three more deep breaths. And slowly make your way back to seated and hands come to heart center, offering gratitude to all of the teachers who have come before us, who have shared their wisdom and this practice around the world, making it possible for us to also practice and cultivate the spirit and culture of love, of kindness, of awareness. Thank you.
for practicing with me.